Yeah, what is the question? This is clear. Why Shravana? What is clear? Um, just, if just be, there's no nothing, nothing is required. It's not required. Shravana is not required. Mm. So why? So you're a doctor. Will you give, give medicine uh, after the course has worked and uh, the patient is well? No. So, Shravana is a surgery. The Bhagavad Gita is a surgery. Upanishad is a surgery. The, the interaction, the dialogue is a surgery. Okay. It is, without it, Nana is not possible. Okay. But after it, Nothing is required. So it's told for a gnani in the Bhagavad Gita, Gnani Krishna tells, for a gnani, all Yavan Ardokya Artha Udapane, Sarvata Sampludodake, Tavan Sarveshu Vedeshu Brahmanasya Vijanataha. Means after uh, the gnana, the Vedas are useless for Agnani. That is why the Agnani goes behind the Vedas. The Gnani, so there's Bhagavan Dattatreya, has four dogs. The illustration of Bhagavan Dattatreya, have you seen four dogs? The four dogs represents the four Vedas. <laughs> four Vedas go behind the Gnani. <laughs> Agnani goes behind the four Vedas. Is to mean the meaning is the, the it's the explanation of this shloka that one who has gnana all knowledge becomes useless to him. It's like for the person who is well, who is healed, medicine is useless. Now, if you take the medicine, ha, then you're creating another problem. So shravana is critical, essential, until clarity. And what is the clarity? Aparoksha Anubhuti. Your self-luminous intuitive knowledge. And it's a deep intuitive knowledge. What is enlightenment? It's a deep knowing intuitive knowledge of I. Okay? And, that, and that I is everything. Self. That I am Atma Brahma and Sarvam Kalugutam Brahma. That I alone is reality. Okay, it's a deep intuitive knowledge. Intuitive knowledge. Deep intuitive knowledge that I am not the doer. Deep intuitive, no, intuitive knowledge that Brahma Satya, Jagan Mithya. It's not word. It's intuitive knowledge. Like how right now for Agnani, the Jagat is Satya, Brahma is Mithya. That level of intuitive knowledge that Jagat is Mithya, Brahman is Satya. Just a moment. Hi Akash. Hi sir. Hey Akash. Sir, I just wanted to see if there's some trouble with that. Ah, Karasini, huh? Okay, sir. Yeah. So why Shravana? Absolutely. And until the Gnana comes, clarity, and it will not come without Shravana. Please understand. Nothing you do will give you this clarity. <laughs> Nothing you do, na karmana, nothing you do, nothing you think, you cannot grasp it. It's like palm trying to grasp space. It cannot. The only way is Shravana. Sapkat Shravana Matrena Brahma Gnanam Yato Bhavet. And that's all that is required. And after that, so, Buddha had uh, many, many disciples, thousands of Arihantas. Arihantas, awakened, enlightened being. So, they stay with Buddha. So, why they stay? What else to do? <laughs> many of them became teachers themselves. They go and teach. Then, they just want to be in the presence of Buddha. So, that doesn't mean there's duality. It's just, uh, what else is there to do? What is the better, better option? They are not with Buddha because they want to learn something more.
so after surgery no the another surgery is not required provided the problem is gone maybe after surgery uh some improvement in the diet or uh vitamins some medication might be required but that will be a prescription of the doctor the guru will look at the disciple understand what that body mind is made for or create a vision for that body mind because of that uh, skill set in the body mind and give a direction like ram shri ram krishna had many disciples he had few disciples for vivekananda he gave vedanta and he gave him a vision because that he saw those that possibilities through that body mind okay so after the surgery he doesn't tell him stop withdraw no krishna doesn't the bhagavad gita is not about telling arjuna withdraw mm-hmm. the bhagavad gita is giving the gnana and that arjuna is already part of some momentum in the oceanic uh, vision krishna is that oceanic vision that oceanic vision now uses that body mind for loka kalyana dharma samstapa dharma so after shravana loka kalyana jagadita atmano moksha is over now jagadita is next question the present is the only reality this moment please understand this moment is the only reality this moment is god the mind creates projects a past and a future in this moment so this think about this moment as a screen this moment is a screen okay on the screen the mind is projecting time karma space i other it will continue as long as you don't question it nobody is question the mind so vedanta is guru questioning the mind so people suffer with uh there is by agnani when people meet a gnani there's a healing that happens okay so there's a story many stories about jesus many stories about amma right any the sai baba all this people prabhu ji so people meet the gnani and their disease which was uh, all doctors and medical science had given up immediately heals so like miraculously in front of the eyes the person becomes gets eyes or the cancer shrinks so many things happen why you know how it happens <laughs> is the gnani healing the gnani even doesn't know you know that it's there people think gnani is healed me gnani is not done anything gnani for gnani it is unreal <laughs> okay to heal it has to be real no for amma to heal you it has to be real for her it can never be real for her and that's why it heals it heals because it is not real and in the presence of the 
master, presence of the Gnani or the saint, Mahatma, your mind uh, melts and the healing happens. Now, healing hap- doesn't happen because Gnani healed. Healing happened because he- the problem is unreal for the Gnani. Because what is what is the disease? What is disease? A cancer. What is cancer? Why did that happen? What is the cause for that? What is the cause for that? What is the cause for that? Children, babies, baby have, have cancer. Yes. They are not smoked. Mm. What is the cause for that? The cause for that is called prarabdha. Mm. Right? You know prarabdha? Prarabdha karma. <laughs> Which is unreal for the gnani. Mm. It's like the three lifetimes ago in the dream. Mm. So in the dream, you go into the dream. Mm. You get captured. Somebody else also is captured with you. That person is a mystic. That mystic tells three lifetimes ago, we had done this karma. So both of us have come back here to experience the karma. Okay? From the waking person point of view, is there a suffering of the being kidnapped? When you wake up, what happens to the being, the suffering of being kidnapped? It disappears. Why it does it disappear? It's not real. It's not real. Then uh, does because three lifetimes ago in the in the dream you did that karma, mm. will that karma catch you in the waking state? Mm. Why? It's not real. The entire thought threat is false. Similarly, for a gnani, you are not different from gnani. That me and gnani is your concept. For a gnani, there's no me and other. Mm. So when a gnani is talking to anybody, gnani is he is her, her, her own self. Mm. Now, he, I have become free from uh, uh, karma. There is no karma. I have woken up from it. It is a dream. What is the other? Mm. Me. Mm. How can there be karma for that? Mm. You understood? I have totally become free. So, you becoming enlightened is the whole world becoming enlightened, free from its karma. That is why Buddha said, so people are, somebody asked Buddha, what happened after enlightenment? He said, I realized that the whole world is enlightened. That means that the whole world is free from its karma. Mm. They don't know it. But when they come to my presence, the karma gets burnt. You understand? What ulta happens when you go and interact with Agnani. <laughs> Your karma reinforces. Mm. Your karma is real. That Agnani's karma is real. You share the karma. Mm. So people have all stupidest concepts mm. that you should not touch somebody. You should not, uh, you know, what is this? Eat from uh, what some person is given because you will take on that karma. You should not go to somebody's house because you it will. Huh? Ha, because you will not Ronaldo Banda. That you will get infected by that karma. Like how a disease, like if you touch a diseased person, have infectious disease, corona, you get corona. People have a concept that if I touch some people, if I hug some people, if I eat the food, somebody's house, I will take on the bad karma of that person. That is Agnana. Agnani, he or she is free from karma. You also become free from your karma. So you don't get infected. Mm. You burn. <laughs> you understand? Mm. That is why healing happens in the presence of the Gnani. Gnani doesn't heal. Gnani is already healed. The moment he got healed and woke up from his uh, perspective, everything woke. The whole world woke up. Interacting with people. Uh, uh, so, um, how to be more sensitive as an I know it's unreal. Uh, I'm not saying I... It is unreal as object. Yeah. It is real as myself, mm-hmm. as I. Mm-hmm. Please understand. When you're interacting with someone, again, if you're if you're anchored in small I, mm-hmm. 
you see another small i yes if you are anchored in i principle you see i principle alone so what i need to do will come, you stay in i what you need to do will come yes spontaneously <laughs> yeah there's no yeah. because there's no uh, there's no prescription like that mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. and the action that's why krishna mm-hmm. takes appropriate action based on the present moment situation, situation. Mm-hmm. there is uh, bhishma dronacharya great people but they have to be killed <laughs> Uh, right action dharma hmm. there's no ethics morality there's no there's no misunderstanding of dharma hmm. what is dharma will become very clear after gnana hmm. until then it's not clear it's all mind game if you want to understand what is dharma understand yourself hmm. when you understand yourself dharma becomes natural hmm. because everything in existence follows dharma everything in existence follows dharma mm-hmm. tiger follows dharma deer follows dharma the rain follows dharma everything in nature follows dharma existence follows dharma okay mm-hmm. what doesn't follow dharma is human being mm-hmm. why identification because of thoughts because of thinking Objects. thought Objects. thinking pattern mm-hmm. see that there's a deer in the uh, this thing forest the deer will uh, see the tiger it will run okay and it will go about its duty peacefully there's no stress there's no anxiety tomorrow uh, tomorrow it will not go there because it will think uh, tiger is there okay deer is blissful deer is blissful please understand deer is in bliss tiger is in bliss entire existence is in bliss then they might be pain they might go through pain but they never suffer mm-hmm. okay then for a higher faculty being called human being human body nervous system a new uh, power is given in existence no other creature is given this power this power so what does a deer have deer have deer has cognition and memory okay what does it have it has cognition it can see organize comprehend mm-hmm. and it has a memory oh I, a tiger came yesterday i should not go there okay it has a memory there also has a memory mm-hmm. now there is a third faculty that's in, introduced in a human being imagination imagination mm-hmm. <laughs> cognition mm-hmm. memory imagination the same deer if it had imagination it will think oh i should not go there but what if deer comes here uh, tiger comes here i don't go there what if my friend goes there mm-hmm. what if my child goes there okay mm-hmm. the ch- deer is doesn't have a child but what if it tomorrow day after tomorrow it comes mm-hmm. okay what if the whole uh, the, the entire forest is filled with tigers i am the only deer mm-hmm. okay and it becomes a break that what happened to humanity <laughs> the imagination goes haywire so what is the problem the problem is imagination in the imagination karma is imagined mm-hmm. already you have imagination faculty okay which is eating your suffering then uh, one more thought is put into you oh your karma 10 lifetimes ago you did this 1000 lifetimes ago you did this instead of destroying the imagination you are adding contents to the imagination or you are fueling the imagination with more thought threads unlearn everything unlearn everything ha ah, you have to the imagination has to stop yeah. uncontrolled imagination mm-hmm. the imagination is given for you to plan to the for the future mm-hmm. grani also has imagination please understand mm-hmm. krishna has a the vision all that is imagination mm-hmm. grani also has imagination but her imagination is directed by discrimination mm-hmm. the discrimination intellect is discrimination uses the imagination but in the agnani the uncontrolled thought patterns mm. vasanas mm. they direct the imagination mm. agnani has no choice that's why krishna tells yantra rudani maya in the influence of maya agnana you behave like a machine you have no choice only mm. <laughs> you have no choice to control the imagination please understand it's not your fault mm. 
your imagination is un- because of maya it's uncontrolled uncontrolled thought comes come keeps on coming this will happen that will happen this will happen that will happen what if this happen what if that happens all imagination comes and that imagination is a suffering to to become free from imagination you will become free from imagination when you come to reality <laughs> you come to reality only when you question your imagination but you are not in the position to question your imagination you know it is unreal for example somebody who is working as a job what will i lose what if i lose my job okay he knows it is unreal but that what if is so real <laughs> what if is cripples him what if i lose my what if this happens what if that happens what if then i'll not be able to pay my uh, mortgage mm. then uh, what will uh, all my relatives tell mm. okay then this person has is always is waiting for a chance for me to fall mm. okay what will happen to my children they will not be as educated as other people's children it just becomes uncontrolled mm. so gnani will get a thought okay let's say gnani gnani is also in a position uh, work Okay, like janaka maharaj is working king mm-hmm. he also has a imagination thought, what what if this neighboring country attacks me mm-hmm. imagination mm-hmm. but the gnani puts it to a test of dif- discrimination mm-hmm. it doesn't go uncontrolled what will the gnani do question ha huh? question gnani will tell what, first he'll ask what is the probability of that happening mm-hmm. somebody has a job i lose my job what is the probability high probability because recession is happening it's high probability mm-hmm. so gnani will take action mm-hmm. that fear or that uh, thought or that possibility of future what can i do about it today mm-hmm. then i'll come to the present moment i am not uh, letting go of uh, the vision of the future mm-hmm. i acknowledge the future okay don't think gnani gnani is in the present moment no doubt gnani also plans like ramakrishna has a vision vivekananda has a vision what ramakrishna ash- ashram has to be built it's a future vision okay and the future the moment you think about the future vision future uh, constraints also you will think about okay what if i don't get money how will it happen all that are possibilities mm-hmm. but vivekananda will tell all that is fine what can i do about it today i will do i am very i am crystal clear about my first thing the gnani is very clear about the vision vivekananda is very clear ramakrishna mission will is there's no question of it has to happen it has already happened for him mm-hmm. you understand yes. from the perspective of a gnani because gnani is beyond time mm-hmm. from vivekananda's perspective it is not ramakrishna mission ashram will happen from the perspective of uh, prabhupad it's not that iskon 108 beautiful temples will be built it is already built krishna has already done it mm-hmm. you guys are not seeing it it's your <laughs> this thing is your uh, lack of uh, uh, tool mm-hmm. from him his perspective has already happened he is he is internally grateful and enjoying that bliss mm-hmm. okay and he'll tell for doing that what i can do today because if i do it or don't do it it will happen i can only focus on what i can do about it today that is clarity of vision and that same clarity many great uh, people have uh, people who are tech giants right politicians leaders have one vision only one vision that one vision is unshakable it has to happen it is a purpose of life what if there's no vision no vision if you have no vision you are like a boat at the harbor <laughs> keep on drifting you understand gnani has a vision please don't think gnani doesn't have a vision the vision is lok kalyan that's why krishna takes a birth now you think krishna takes a birth without vision aimlessly <laughs> from day of taking the body or animating the body the vision is clear every single action is for that vision 
Ghrani has a vision. And the vision has con- the vision will get constraints, challenges, blockages. A big Mahabharata war will come. Mm-hmm. But you will penetrate through that. Mm-hmm. Why? Because you are not focusing on what the problem is. You are forcing, focusing on what I can do about it. Mm-hmm. So have a vision. The biggest vision. Okay? For the uh, for yourself and the world. Biggest vision. It's a conscious vision. And do what you can about it today. If you don't do that, mind will go in all directions. Mind moves because it doesn't have direction. So mind is like sunlight. Sunlight is spread out. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> but there's a magnifying glass. What happens? Burns. It burns the paper, wood. Because it consolidates. What is it? It uh, converges. Ah, converges. Becomes one point, single pointed. So mind has to become single pointedness in the direction of a higher vision. Purpose in life is to find that vision. <laughs> and keep on doing for it. Whether you reach it or not doesn't matter. And a Gnani has already reached it because he is beyond time and space. Okay. Like Prabhuji has a vision. What is the vision? The whole earth should be filled with enlightened wisdom. This enlightened wisdom, Atma Gnana, should be household knowledge. Like how it was in, in the ancient time. It's a big vision. So every day he works for it. People come or don't come. He'll sit in front of the system. He'll talk. Amma. Amma has a vision. The entire suffering of mankind. She's mother. All her other children. None of my children should suffer. For that, she'll come and sit. Thousands of people come. She doesn't matter. She will hug everybody. Okay? So I have to go somewhere. I'll go there. I have to build a hospital. I have to build a hospital. Everything will happen. You understand? Because vision is very clear. Vision is, this, they are all my children. My children should not suffer. My children should realize their self. For that, whatever she can do, she will do that. Today. Okay? She can also, th- if imagine she had uncontrolled imagination. Oh, who will come if I go there? What if nobody comes? Then my name is tarnished. Then the whole newspapers will, you know, talk, oh, Amma had a gathering, nobody came. Nothing. When the mind becomes serene because of Gnana and vision, Dharma. Dharma and Gnana. Nothing can shake that mind. Nothing can stop that person. (laughs) Nobody can stop that person. So what is your vision? 